state the orbital hybridization of each highlighted atom. In order for us to determine hybridization, we have to first figure out steric number, which is equal to the number of attachments plus number of lone pairs of electrons. And then once we know the steric number, we will easily figure out hybridization and we can also do the angle. So let's go ahead and do the question, do part A. This carbon, first we had to figure out steric number, which is number of attachments. How many, how many atoms is this carbon attached to? It's attached to one, two, three, four atoms. And then how many lone pairs does it have? This carbon has zero lone pairs. So four plus zero is zero, is four. So what is the hybridization when the steric number is four? It is sp3. So this carbon must be sp3 hybridized. And it's something that you can just memorize. If steric number is two, hybridization is sp, three is sp2, and four is sp3. Let's go for B. How many attachments does this carbon have? It's attached to two hydrogens and one carbon. So it has three attachments plus it doesn't have any lone pairs, so its steric number must be 3. And if the steric number is 3, what is hybridization? It is sp2. So this carbon must be sp2. Let's go to this carbon. How many atoms is it attached to? 1, 2. How many lone pairs does it have? None. So its steric number is 2. For 2, hybridization is sp. Let's go to D. This carbon, how many attachments does it have? One, two, three. It does not have any lone pairs. So steric number is three. Hybridization is sp2. This carbon is attached to one, two, three atoms. And it has no lone pairs. So hybridization must be sp2. This oxygen is attached to two atoms. And it has one, two, lone pairs, one lone pair, two lone pairs. So its steric number is four. Hybridization must be sp3. This nitrogen is attached to one, two, three atoms, and it has one lone pair. That means its steric number is four. Hybridization is sp3. This nitrogen is attached to one, two atoms, plus it has one lone pair, Steric number is 3. For 3, hybridization is sp2. And let's do the last one. This carbon is attached to two atoms, two carbons, and it has no lone pairs. So its hybridization must be sp. This is Maya Lochi from Transformation Tutoring, and I really hope that you enjoyed this video.